alert y'all it's your boy jj aka vinci if you know me and today oh my goodness i have an extremely extremely amazing special guest and you know i work with him once again no disclosure of where we work but uh <laughs> yo this guy is absolutely amazing his energy his smile lights up the room uh he's got a chisel chest and he's got style fashion and drip beyond this universe even you know so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get him to introduce himself. My guy, what's good? Well, thank you so much for having me, JJ. I Sir. can't believe you asked me so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, which one am I looking at? This one? All right, bad, bad. I just want to make sure we get it, you know? Yo, that's uh, What's really going on, nice. guys? My name is Matt Edwards, uh, more formally known online as Matt R. Edwards. I am a men's fashion and lifestyle blogger Jeez. based outside Toronto. I guess the GTA as well. But uh, yeah, that's kind of who I am. Jeez, uh, yeah, thanks Matt. so much for having me on your show, your platform. I appreciate it, and I'm glad we could finally like collab we've been talking about this for a bit yes but, sir. Yeah, I'm, glad I'm, I'm so excited bro because like there's so much i wanted to like ask you there's so much i want to like kind of engage into your world with so mm -hmm. like i'm kind of happy that you're here i'm super excited yeah yeah and you've been killing it online so far like Thank i've you. seen you. your promos um i've seen your videos you've done on youtube i've watched some of the like even again at, when we're at work and you're dropping stuff online i'm like yo this guy is absolutely amazing Thank so like you. Thank first you. and foremost like yeah. Matt Edwards, like who is Matt Edwards? Uh, Matt Edwards is kind of like, just like a funny, normally outgoing guy. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm a little bit shy and pulled back, but uh, definitely around people I know, I'm mm -hmm. more like outgoing and things like that. Um, definitely, uh, I don't know if you believe like so much in horoscopes, but I'm yeah. a cancer and I'm <laughs> definitely a cancer, like 100%. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely dramatic if you know me. Um, I can be emotional, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I'm pretty creative as well. And I feel like mm -hmm. that's a plus is where the like blogging and all that yeah. content stuff has come out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like who I am, like from the jump, I from guess. The jump, yeah. yeah. And you like, so I'm not really good at horoscopes. So yeah. like, give me a little. When's insight. your birthday? Wait, your birthday passed. Last year, June seventeenth. I'm June. a Gemini. Seven. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, Gemini. Shout Gemini. out to okay, the Gemini's. Okay, okay, We're okay, not yeah. crazy. We just think mm. emotional. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not crazy. crazy. We just have two sides of thinking. But yeah. like, from your standpoint, explain to people what a Cancer is for you. Well, Let's for say. me, I feel like a Cancer is very very can be very outgoing mm -hmm. they're known for the life of the party so i feel like their energy a lot of people gravitate to mm -hmm. um maybe automatically maybe just over time but i feel like yeah. a lot of people gravitate to their energy yeah um definitely very creative there's something about cancers that like whether it's in i guess like art or in even anything like maybe like diys or just mm -hmm. like um like a different project or even cooking like right. they have a lot of creativity and i've seen that in a lot of cancers that I like know of personally, and then even other people online, like I'll find out when their birthday is, and I'm like, oh, they're a Cancer. Like I can see mm -hmm. that creativity, John. Um, and yeah, they are kind of emotional, <laughs> and I know they have like a bad rap for that online. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm not super emotional. I repress a lot of my emotions, so maybe that's why. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they can be very emotional, um, as I feel like they're more known for. Yeah. But, yeah, I feel like that's a Cancer. Gemini's. <laughs> I mean, they kind of have a bad rap too, they but do, uh, you do. guys are yeah. just like fighting which side to listen to, you know exactly, what I mean? So exactly. I, I couldn't imagine that. It's a, yeah, it tends to be a, dif a bit difficult sometimes mm -hmm. when you're thinking, you know what, this makes sense, these are the facts. But then it's just like, oh, my heart and my emotions say this. And it's just like, ah, which one do I go through? Yeah. Like, tell me a little bit about your back history and like growing up and like where you came from. Yeah, well, um, I grew up in Mississauga. Mm -hmm. I have literally lived in the same house my whole life. Nice. Um, so that can be a plus, I guess, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I basically grew up in the same area, so I know like a lot of like the same people. Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends that I have to this day have literally been like grown up with. I've been friends with them for like, like a lot of my friends now, especially now that we're older. Mm -hmm. um, we've been friends for like over 10 years, which is crazy. Wow. There's a lot of friends too that like I grew up like in church as well. So there's mm -hmm. a bunch of friends that I just grew up in church with that I've known mm -hmm. since like we were like three and now we're like 27. So that's yeah. like crazy to know people like that. Mm. Um, and then a lot of them too, like especially friends that I grew up in church with, like they're like my brothers. Like a lot yeah. of people that I like really um, 
like ask for advice or respect yeah. um, and inspire me as well. And then there's friends that I just grew up like with in high school, uh, even friends in college that I've like grown up with and kind of like resonated with and been mm -hmm. really close with them. And a, lot, a couple of them actually helped me with my blogging stuff too. So oh, that's nice. pretty helpful. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my grow up. Um, my childhood, like growing up, was like mm. pretty normal. Right. But um, kind of just like any like any kid. Like I grew up and just like played outside like all day. Mm -hmm. Even like in elementary school, after school, like I would just play outside. Right. Uh, middle school, I feel like that was a normal like teenage years kind of. And then high school, I feel like that was normal. Like even um, I was looking on Twitter like today and they have that like kind of trend going on mm -hmm. where it was like you had to be there and oh yes, just, like, yes yes all these like <laughs> things like i feel like i was such like a regular like teenager where i just loved watching like bet like mtv mm -hmm. and like things like that so that was kind of me um and yeah i was i feel like in high school i was a big like um like floater like mm -hmm. i didn't just have one main friend group i could hop to this friend group i could hop to this friend group so that was kind of good but i feel like i definitely like longed to have like that one core like friend group right. so i'm thankful that that happened i guess like after high school i have like mm -hmm. like my boys that yeah. were like super close and stuff um but yeah and then i actually took a year off after high school mm -hmm. which is something that helped me a lot in i guess my growth mm. but it's not something i planned because yeah. i guess i didn't like in high school i didn't plan to go to college or university because i didn't know what i wanted to do at all right. um so i didn't even plan in terms of my grades like my grades i normally just kept it like average or above average so that right. when it was time for me to like apply and stuff i could but mm. in terms of like everybody in like grade 12, like stressing because they had to get like yeah, to that exactly. certain school. I didn't have that because I didn't know where I wanted to go. So I was mm. like, I'm just going to take a year off. And then my year off was honestly really dope. There was a lot of growth that I not necessarily needed to do, but at the same time needed to do uh, to be the person that I am thankfully today. Mm. Um, I guess if I, if I have a moment, I'll definitely explain like my year off and stuff. Yeah. But then yeah, after my year off, I went to college. I went to Humber. I did like four years there. I did a two year general media program because I will also explain my Humber growth as well. But that <laughs> helped me a lot with, I guess, blogging. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I did a two year general media program that actually found me and I'm thankful that happened. And then nice. I went into a two year communications program, um, which again, like, randomly found me and then after that I graduated thankfully and then kind of like went into a job kind of in my field like in social media mm -hmm. but then I found out that was not what I wanted to do at all <laughs> um, and then yeah after that I kind of like was not lost but just longing for something that kept me creative and like something that was in my field yeah and then a lot of people advised me that i should blog i got into blogging and then mm -hmm. thankfully i put in the work and i'm where i am today so that's kind of like that's the really sick, man. history that's of, pretty dope man. Yeah. That's, it's very like inspiring that like you know you took the time off before going to school mm -hmm. and you kind of use that to grow and develop because like a lot of people tend to jump right into the post-secondary after high school yeah. and they're stressed out like completely stressed out and then like you know you do four years of this school and then you have nothing to do nothing to show for or, or in a job where it's like i didn't even go to school for this job and it's yeah just, it yeah. pays well but like you're not really happy there yeah and so i feel like that was always my worry like mm -hmm. i didn't want to cop into something that i didn't enjoy Correct, yeah. or just would change my major later on mm -hmm. so i really wanted to take the time to like figure that out and i had like a basis but then I don't know, thankfully, it worked. Life has a funny way of working. 100%. So thankfully, it worked out in the end. But uh, yeah, I just needed that like time. That's good, bro. Yeah. I, and I can appreciate that you took your time off and stuff like that. So like within high school and the realm of growing up and stuff like that, was there any sports or activities that you did or anything like um, that? There wasn't. There wasn't too many sports. I was mm -hmm. definitely more of like a dramatic kid. So I was more <laughs> like, I guess, into drama and things like yeah. that. I did a couple plays in elementary school. I think the first play I did was called Stone Soup. Mm -hmm. And I was like the lead in that. And I always wanted to get into acting. So ever mm -hmm. since I was like younger, acting was like my main thing that I wanted to do. So that's why I was more into drama. Yeah. So I did kind of that in elementary school. And then I also did that in middle school. In middle school, I was like in a lead role of The Wiz. And I was like the man so that was something that i got to do and that was also the first time i like got into singing as well mm -hmm. so that was a big kind of thing for me and then i did it a little bit in grade nine and ten but i also got like bored of it 
and like mm -hmm. I'm at that time too in high school like you start developing like close friends and right, stuff right, like right, that right. like especially hanging out after school mm -hmm. so I missed that so then I didn't do it in grade 11 and 12 but I also missed like that community I guess yeah. so I actually got into track which I kind of wish I did in grade 9 and like did that all throughout four years mm -hmm. but I liked running I did cross country a little bit like in elementary school so I did track and that was a lot of fun it taught me a lot of I guess determination and heart and like yeah. things like that like teamwork yeah hard work. Um, I did do 1500 so I wasn't like running with like I wasn't doing relay race or anything but yeah now I don't understand why I did 1500 yeah it's but hard. yeah that's <laughs> for anyone that's wondering that's three and a quarter around the track yeah no so that is Definitely not crazy yeah. but yeah I had the stamina when I was younger mm -hmm. you know so that's what I did uh, again I wish I did it when I was younger and maybe even like if I did it more I would have gotten into sprinting yeah but I had really good like um like stamina or just like breathing mm -hmm. and stuff Cardio. so yeah that's why i did that and i feel like that also helped me like getting into fitness as well like i feel like i joined a gym i think that year as well like grade 10 11 12. yeah um so i feel like that also helped me want to be active and fit and stuff mm -hmm. yeah. okay that's dope and like that kind of fitness aspect does that also like kind of tailor to where you are now in regards to taking yeah fitness? yeah i feel like yeah. fitness is a big part of like my life as well mm -hmm. um half for like physique and just staying fit and like being yeah. healthy but then also just like for mental as well like i feel like working out really helps uh like reset me yeah um so yeah i think i feel like that's definitely like why i work out and mm -hmm. even like through quarantine right now like i feel like home workouts have really helped me yeah just because just there is no gym and i don't know <laughs> when sucks. the gym is going to be a thing again yeah. either but yeah i feel like it definitely helps and that was kind of like the spark of it i feel mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty sick. So would you consider maybe going back into acting? Like if it, the opportunity came like right now? Uh, it's always been something that comes up mm -hmm. um, and it's not necessarily something that I stopped, but I just saw a change in the industry, which is mm -hmm. something that I didn't necessarily agree with, but yeah. I feel like I could always go back um, if I wanted to. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I do have a passion more for what I'm doing now. Right. We'll definitely touch on why what I'm doing now makes sense. Ooh, but okay. um, yeah, I did always want to act and I feel like in the future, if an opportunity that fit mm -hmm. was right, I would do that. Um, but yeah, I did acting until even college. Like there really? were times in college where I was like doing college, but also going to auditions and stuff and doing that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not something that I would ever, I guess, stop, even though I kind of stopped it for the time yeah. being. But yeah, in the future, I would maybe pick that up if there was an opportunity that was okay, right. Okay, that's yeah. dope. So yeah. like upcoming Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, yeah, okay. maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, honestly. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah. like uh, like Will Smith or Denzel Washington is like one of my like mm -hmm. acting I idols. I can see a young Denzel in you. You, th you can, can see, see it, it. Can Okay, see it. okay, okay. He can see, I can see it, so. Denzel. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's really dope. So growing up now, like, you know, within that um, year that you took a, a break from school, like who was your biggest motivator or inspiration for you to kind of push you to keep going? Um, I feel like during that time, there wasn't like, um, I don't want to say like an idol, but mm -hmm. like a celebrity that was yeah. kind of that. Happening. Yeah, there wasn't like a celebrity or anything, mm -hmm. but like people around me, like one right. of my biggest influences or like two of my best friends, like one of them actually went to school for football. So yeah. just to see him going through his like determination and things like that, mm -hmm. that definitely motivated me and inspired me a lot. And another one is like a friend that I grew up with like in church. So he see me like grow up and I don't have a brother. Like I only have one older sister and then it's just me. Yeah. So just kind of like I see him him as like my big older brother and just the journey he's done mm -hmm. things that he does like he's a person that if you want something like he'll get it like kind right. of no matter what Go get it, and yeah. he'll yeah yeah so that's definitely like it's inspired me a lot just to see his journey and things um so yeah i would say that through that time i wasn't like necessarily lost but i was looking to motivate myself and feel right. like what path i could go into what was my path because i feel like after high school like you're so used to mm -hmm. um like you're so used to being told like what to do like you mm -hmm. already have a schedule right. so then being like 18 like a fresh adult but like not having school as like a backup i was really like okay what am i doing like i have all mm -hmm. this time but like what am i doing with it so yeah um my time my year off definitely helped me a lot i was able to travel like kind of for a long time 
um, I guess I was able to like work more and like save more money, but then also figure out, okay, what are we doing like next year? Mm -hmm. Kind of have my own routine. Right. And I feel like, again, as a cancer, like we're very schedule oriented people. Mm -hmm. So routine is like very <laughs> big with me. Yeah. So yeah, just even building my own routine. And I feel like when I was younger, I never was like, like I was a kid, but I always wanted to be older. And like even oh, growing up, yeah. like I had I had cousins, but I always had older cousins. I yeah. always wanted to like play with the older cousins or the mm -hmm. older like the big kids because I yeah. always wanted to be older. Mm -hmm. So even on my year off, like finally having my own schedule, like yeah. I could like not just go to bed whenever I want, but I could like go out whenever I wanted. I could work whenever I wanted. I could like kind of have my own schedule. Right. So yeah, I think that was the most thing that I liked about that. But then also figuring out, okay, like now what are we doing with this time? Like where are we going? Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. So what would you say was your biggest like roadblock or challenge in regards to that? Like within that year off, um, cause it's such a long time, like a year can change a lot of yeah, people, yeah. right? So what was your roadblock or your challenge that you had to overcome? Well, I think the biggest challenge that I had to overcome was um, finding out what my specific passion was. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought I knew what my passion was as well. Like, so when I finally figured out kind of what schools I wanted to get into and I was starting to apply and stuff, mm -hmm. I figured out I was gonna go to school for photography. Right. I liked taking pictures like my whole I guess life yeah. even though I was kind of the one in the pictures <laughs> yeah. but I like taking pictures yeah. that was fun to me I also liked editing so okay. I figured yeah. that's what I wanted to go to school for right so yeah. I actually applied to Ryerson was my main school I applied to Humber and Sheridan mm -hmm. for photography I think I got into Sheridan uh, I was devastated that I didn't get into Ryerson mm -hmm. but I went to my interview for Humber nice. um, and I had a portfolio and everything and the professor that interviewed me actually didn't like it no way. So yeah, he didn't like it. He, not that he like said this was a joke, mm -hmm. but he was like, I don't think photography is specifically for you. <laughs> and like hearing that after yeah. taking a year off to like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then after hearing that, I was devastated, yeah. but he was also dope enough to like, um, like suggest another option so he suggested that i do the general media program right. and in that find out more specific or catered mm -hmm. to what i like which i think is also what i needed too because there's so many outlets like as a creative person there's so many outlets that i like to do but right. photography specifically i don't think was one of them or mm -hmm deeply like i don't think i was that passionate about it okay. you like work with some photographers and they know like automatically what iso it should be like shutter yeah, speed yeah, like they know sure. certain things like that like i just know how to fix it like you know <laughs> what i mean like i don't specifically know that <laughs> yeah so i think mindset wise that was the difference okay so it was yeah. dope that he kind of helped me see that mm -hmm. and i think that also helped me like in blogging now okay because if i didn't do that general media program yeah i wouldn't be kind of like where i am so okay. I think it's crazy that like that happened. I was able to meet the people I met in first year. Nice. And then from there also like kind of getting into general media. I was still a little lost after that like two year program. Like, mm -hmm. okay, now I know so much of media, but like, where do I take it? Mm -hmm. So even talking to one of my, uh, two of my best friends, like at the time, um, they were also doing communications and I found out about that. So I was like, I love social media. I'm really yeah. good at it. So I should probably get into communications and see like maybe from the marketing side, what company I can help. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that kind of like was that journey at that time. So I think just having that year off, that was a pivotal point because without that moment of, hey, I don't think photography is for you, but like there's a different path that you could go into mm -hmm. i don't know where i would have gone if i had just done the photography program at sheridan i might have not been like here you know right yeah that's pretty sick that's pretty dope